Good morning, precious. Hey, Brandon. Brandon's here, guys. Brandon's here. Remember yesterday, he said he was going to quit. <laughs> he must change his mind. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you just can't be leaving jobs nowadays, people. Shit, it's... Well, I guess you can, not because everybody on unemployment, so don't nobody really go to work right now. Everybody at home getting paid. I wish I was so lucky. Damn, ain't no coffee. Do you hear me? Ain't no coffee. I don't see nothing but green lights, but I ain't gonna mess with Brandon today. He doesn't look like he's having a good morning. So good morning, baby. Happy Tuesday. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel. Is that better? can you <coughs> and hit subscribe you ain't doing nothing else i know it only take a minute so how you feel baby yeah you already know i'm talking to the moms today hey miss mcginnis how you doing our future mayor speaking into existence good morning baby thanks for joining us on coffee and conversation so guys today i'm talking to the moms Still talking to the moms about those little girls. I know. I'm gonna give you two tips, mom. One, you have to make sure. Hey, let me see which one I want to go with. Time. You gotta spend a lot of time. So I'm gonna give y'all three things. Remember, I told you, you gotta spend a lot of time with them baby girls, mom. And one thing, you gotta make sure she busy. Gotta make sure she's busy. So I had a DM. They wanted me to elaborate a little bit. And maybe I was just fortunate because of all the stuff that I was into. It was easy for me to involve my children. You know, so guys, I'm not gonna make it seem like it's just so easy to fill their days up. But you gotta fill those little girls' days up. Why? Leave less time for little boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's inevitable. I mean, I've been preaching to my little girls that I wish, and I do, this is the truth. I wish I had one boyfriend. I wish we was in school together, we was childhood sweethearts, and we got married, and I had all my children by me. That's what I've always wished and hoped for myself. So that's what I've always preached to my little girls. I tried to preserve their innocence as long as possible. So I try to do everything I can to not leave room for little boys. Cause it's only a matter of time before some old cat daddy roll up on them <laughs> and talk them out of everything they own. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. So one thing I used to do is I used to have them with me all the time. So everything I did, they did. That's a good way to teach your children things as well, mom. Your little girls and your little boys like paint jobs and cleaning buildings and modeling and radio, sh like everything that I'm into, my children were exposed to it. I didn't try to force them all the time, but I did want them to know the importance of everything that I'm doing and the reasons why they are doing it. I wanted to create generational wealth. Um, it was very important for me to teach my children about um, not only working a nine to five and the importance of that, but also, calm down, ain't nobody here, entrepreneurship. So it was very important for my children to be around me when I'm at business meetings. It's very important for them to see how I communicate with others. It's important for them to see me um, in different genres, um, for them to know how to blend in. It was important for my children to know how to conduct themselves wherever they are, you know. So I had to keep them busy. So the little girls, whenever we would have events, I would make them volunteer. So they would have to dress up and they used to greet people. They used to be greeters. Um, so every event they had to volunteer. Every time we gave, we gave, we used to give away book bags, book bags for the kids. We used to have an event downtown every year for the youth at the organization I was with. So we would get book bags. So the girls would have to come the night before and pack book bags. So they was always with me. The radio show, I would take them to the radio show. I would take them to modeling sessions with me. Like they were always with me. The baby especially because she was the last one. So she had me, she had me to herself. So after school, 
if I had an event, she would be with me. Um, if I had to set up a vendor table at a school, because that's mainly where I get a lot of my people, my clients for attitude adjustment is from the school. So until that <clears throat> partnership is finalized and I have a connection with them to where they're referring people to me, I had to attend all of their vendor events and set up a table so the baby will come. And she was, so when they with me, and if she, she wasn't doing that, then she was either at volleyball practice, basketball, because both the girls were in volleyball, both the girls were in basketball, and Kelly played golf, as well as cheerleading. So if she wasn't at one of those practices, she was with me. By the time she get home, she too tired to be talking to a little boy. <laughs> so you got to keep them busy, mom. Let me see. And let's spear off until their femininity, mom. Like I told you, both my girls were athletic. So they were playing basketball and volleyball. Now, typically, when they venture off into the basketball part, sometimes they lose their femininity. Now you're gonna have some little girls that's just, it's just not in them, okay? And so they might be gay and they might not be. You know, they might not be. It's just all girls ain't girly girly like that. But it's important, mom, that you give her a fighting chance <laughs> and make sure, make sure that you remind her of that always. The essence of herself, just a woman, just her being a girl, just all the time. As you see how I dress, <laughs> all the way down to the boots, boo. You come to my house and open my door, these boots and jump door. You swear a man live there. I'm telling you. <laughs> you swear a hard working man live in my house. <laughs> Just looking at my boots. Right, let me let you see the boots again. Shoot. Yes. Yes. But moms, y'all also see me for my show. Y'all see me in that two piece. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see me working out. You, you just, you know, my femininity is there. It comes, I had to check a man yesterday at Home Depot. Y'all know I'm at Home Depot every day, right? <laughs> no exaggeration. And it was funny because I had made a stat the other day about uh, if one more person asked me what something that at Home Depot, I was going to go off. So I'm in line, right? And this is little girl behind me, young girl with her baby. <laughs> Somebody walked right up to me yesterday and asked me where the contractor bags at. And me, knowing where they at, I told them. <laughs> so I turned back to the girl and I threw over the whole spiel about the Facebook stat. And I said, now see, you my witness that the people just be walking up to me, random people. I'm in line. Ain't no way. I ain't got on nothing orange. I'm covered in dust. I am in line with a can of paint. Do you feel me? And he still asked me. <laughs> where the stuff was right so damn it was a reason for me saying this story of dialogue for oh my god oh my god it was a reason why i was telling y'all this story and i know i don't forget oh my god i'm gonna come back on when i think about it guys because i'm gonna have to rewind and tell what we was talking about <laughs> This is terrible, guys. Okay, well, back to the femininity. Yeah. You got to preserve that. You got to let them know when they switching gears, switching roles, switching clothes. You got to tell them the reasons why. My babies know I'm dressed like this because I'm doing a job that consists of me dressing like this. But when I'm at the radio show, I'm dressed a certain way. When I'm modeling and doing shoots, I dress a certain way. When I attend business meetings, I dress a certain way. So you got to distinguish that, mom. That way, when she get older, she'll know how to represent herself, and she'll know how to dress. Um, let me see. Another way we can preserve, I guess that was it. The time, spending time, keeping them busy. It'll slow down for a minute. It'll, it'll keep the boys away a little bit. It's like a repellent. You gotta spend time with a mom. She gotta be up under you all the time. You don't wanna smother her, though. You don't wanna do that. But you wanna always be visible. Like, I was always visible because I took the baby to school, I take the kids to school, I took them to practice, I pick them up for practice. So every day I'm visible. 
Yeah, that's another reason why I can't understand why shit went the way that it did. Ooh, this a person show with me. Because I was always visible. Like, how could I be visible as much as I was? And, um, never mind. That's another show. So, guys, you know, have a good day. Because I'm running late for my meeting. I got to get over there to this house by 9 o'clock. All right, y'all. Go to that YouTube channel. Hit subscribe. Um, I did hit a couple points for the moms to help preserve the young ladies' in a, uh, innocence. And that is the time part and uh, keeping them busy and um, their femininity. That was very important. Okay, guys, I'm out. Mwah.